Ken Serves here, and another shave video. Hey, it's Saturday morning, and uh, it's time for a shave. Uh, I'm gonna pause this for a minute because I don't know if you can see, but what's going on in the background is we're live with, uh, with Cap. So uh, I was all set up to do this shave, but uh, I'm gonna tune in for uh, a little more of the live, uh, live chat and live shave. I noticed there's a lot of a uh, lot of shavers from all over the world out there. So uh, I was all set to start, but uh, I'm gonna be right back with a good shave today, using some uh, some new soaps, some new aftershave, and some old favorites. So stay tuned for just a sec. Sec for you. Probably it'll be uh, about 10, 15 minutes for me. That was so cool watching that live chat. I would have stayed on a little longer and uh, recorded this a little later, but. Uh, I have to go out to uh, Hemet, California, which is about a 90 minute drive. And it's so nice and cool out there. So uh, the temperature's so, so cool. Of course I'm lying, it's, it's hot, 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 hot out there. We're going out to uh, visit my wife's parents. Uh, Mother-in-law just had some, uh, some cancer surgery and she's doing great. Had some reconstructive surgery, she's doing great. So she's actually doing a performance out there. At, uh, she's a singer and uh, she's doing a, uh, like a church performance or uh, a singing performance. So uh, it's always nice to go out there, it's just a long drive. But uh, let's get this shave started. So today I'm gonna to be trying out a couple of new products that uh, people have asked me about. And I've got a couple of samples of these. I didn't get the, uh, the full-blown full blown, uh, uh, size containers yet, but this is, well, before I start, you've seen that I use that Arctique, the, uh, I think it's uh, Barristern Man, but uh, it's a really cold, 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 cold shave. It really wakes you up, it's menthol. And I've heard that chiseled face cryogen is equal or better. So. What I've got, let's see here if she'll focus. Ooh, she'll focus there. I got some chiseled face cryogen uh, soap and the chiseled face cryogen aftershave. So we are going to try that out today. And uh, kind of a preview of upcoming shaves. I've got some uh, Strike Gold shave soap coming up in one of the next videos. Uh, gonna be trying that out. I've heard some good things about that. and. I'm going to be uh, trying out uh, a couple of new blades, so I'll keep I'll keep it quiet about that. But got some new blades coming up. Got uh, I'm going to do that shave with that uh, that uh, what is it Reed and Barton uh, silver plated Atra from the old days Gillette Atra. Uh, there was enough of you wanted to see it. I know this is a wet shaving channel, and I do use. DE blades in almost all my videos, but I'm gonna take you for a trip down memory lane. I've been reading the comments and they said, what was your evolution from uh, DE razors to cartridge and then back? So I, for uh, I have fortunately found a lot of these razors that uh, I stopped using, these cartridge razors, and then got dumped. Uh, I won't say by who, uh, because uh, they were cluttering up the uh, cabinet underneath the sinks, but uh, I was able to obtain replacements from some of the ones that I used to use, and now I'm gonna have them on display. So I'll go through that. But today we are gonna use the, uh, the Cryogen Shave Soap. Oh, <laughs> cartridge razor. Somebody asked about those too. It's a shame that when they make commemorative, when Gillette makes commemorative uh, James Bond items, they do not make the double edge uh, items. Oh man, another preview of what's coming up. Got some uh, Gillette aftershave so man we have a lot gotta stay focused still half asleep been having the coffee cool cup got that from my wife uh, so the coffee is waking me up shave is about to get started I'm gonna use the Gillette tech today got that one a while ago in the box you know not back there at those prices but uh, man used to be real inexpensive 49 cents I'm gonna use the Gillette Super Thin Blade. I'm gonna use the uh, Captain's Choice Shave Bowl to uh, whip that lather up. And I'm gonna be using, here we go, the Shave Mac Badger Brush today. So if I'm a little scattered, I'm waking up, we're gonna get focused, 
and uh, we'll be right back. I'm going to get this set up. Wow. I've got the, uh, the soap in that bowl, and they're not kidding. My first impression is that is very, very strong menthol smell. Have the brush soaking. I've heard the rumor that they have some of these down at the uh, home goods store, these crystal skulls. Again, I haven't seen them since last Halloween. And if they have them, I'm gonna pick up a few. I might have to give one away uh, in my 3,000, when I hit 3,000 video appreciation, I might have to give one away because a lot of people are having a hard time finding those. All right, let's get that water out of there. And start whipping it up. Wow, no, she is she is definitely strong. Definitely strong. We put a little more of that chisel face in there. You got it. You might as well use it, right? Now I should have put the Allen block on my fingers. There we go. It was too dry. I can imagine out of the, uh, right out of the big container, the four ounce container, it must, wow, it is coming along quite nice. It must whip up quite easy. I won't be using any pre-shave today. We'll put it the real test. The real test. It, wow. It's definitely strong menthol, boys. Definitely strong menthol. You may be right. At least equal, if not stronger, than the Arctic. And the Arctic's seasonal, so you can't get it every year, I, I don't think. But it's supposed to be released again soon, but I believe Chisel Face is available year round. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're right. It is as strong. All right, the old Gillette Tech. No, it is as strong. <laughs> Look at my eyes turning red. Oh, this video is gonna run more than 15 minutes. Sorry about that. If you get bored, you can always fast forward. And that's what I, uh, somebody had said for people who didn't want me to do the shave with the Atra razor. Still a vintage razor from 1980. Wow. It is, uh, you don't have to, uh, you can fast forward right through it. Because there are some of you who use both razors, uh, the DE for your face, and uh, a cartridge for your heads, as I had mentioned before. And for me, it's like a trip down memory lane. Wow, yeah, all right, you're right, chisel face. As powerful, if not more, than the Arctic. See, I was going to say it's not, but uh, it is. You don't know until you try it. Man, this whole bathroom smell. Look at this. Whew. Watering eyes. It was great seeing all of you on that, that chat today. On Cap's uh, live video feed. People from all over the UK, Europe, the US, 
South America. It's kind of cool checking in on everybody. Keeps trying to get me to do one on the weekends, but ah, that's when I get to go do all these family things. But who knows? Maybe we'll give it a try. When I do read those comments, somebody was asking me how the old or the uh, Gillette New razors, basically similar, uh, the Gillette News compared to the Mula R41, and uh, I've used one of those new open combs, and I found it to be a close shave, not as as, as aggressive as the R41. But the R41 can be mastered and gives a great shave. And it all, wow, I'm not crying, guys. Man. Oh, got me. My favorite spot. If I ever let that heal. And I don't think I'd get me that often. All right. Wow. That. Ah. Oh. Now, if that. That was a close shave, too. If that aftershave is as. Menthol-y as the, uh, as the, uh, after, or the, uh, soap. I'm gonna put this in my hand. It comes in a little pump container. All right, pumped it in. Oh. You know, it's not a real burn. It's more like a, an icy, icy feeling which is, damn, quite nice. I'm gonna try blasting some of this on me. Hope I don't get it in my eyes. Oh, it does burn. But a very icy smell. Wow. Yeah, cryogen. <laughs> you want menthol? Try that uh, chiseled face cryogen. Oh, and before I forget, somebody had asked in my, in the, uh, the range leather bag. Uh, they had asked what brand uh, hairbrush I had in there for my travel. And this was actually my grandfather's from uh, Scotland. Uh, it has no identifying name, serial number, or marks on it, as is his other uh, one that I use. And I use these kind of like for nostalgia, but uh, they were his and he had them, God, I'd probably say from the 40s. So, uh, I don't know the brand on that, so I apologize for that. But whew, what a good wake up. It's tingling. You can smell it good. All right. Thumbs up, thumbs up for chiseled face cryogen. Whew. And uh, some new videos will be coming out soon. I'll, I've got so many different things to try and uh, so much to do, so little time, right? We'll have to, uh, it's uh, my short week next week though at work. So I should have uh, a little bit better chance of getting some videos out. God, this has probably got to be 16, 17 minutes now. So I apologize for that. Well, I'll let you go. I can hear them out there getting ready for the drive. And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great weekend.